Hey there ladies and gentlemen, this is Black Orchestra. Maybe you have heard of the game, maybe you've heard of what it represents in real life, in our history. So I'm really excited about this game. It is very, very intriguing and really fun to play both the solo game and as a team, a cooperative game. So let's go ahead and try and keep this fairly short and dive on into it. So this will by no means be an exhaustive uh, rules game or anything, rules video on how to play this. I just basically want to give you a quick overview of what you're doing and let you know that this is a fun game and how some of the pieces work to know if it's a game that you might enjoy yourself. So what you have out here is Germany. You've got Berlin right here and then you've got some other countries in Europe right here and this represents Germany when they were taking over uh, some of the rest of Europe as well. So really intriguing concept here. After you take your turn, you have these different cards which have numbers on the back of them. If I had enough room on this table, this is what it would look like. So I would take packet number one, all the ones that have the one on the back of it here, and I'd put that right here. They'd be laying down here, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven. So really interesting that after each turn, you grab one of these, and it says, raise Hitler's military support by one. And so you'd raise the military support over here, making it more difficult to assassinate him. That's the goal uh, of the game, is to, I guess it's not always assassination, but you're trying to get rid of Hitler, you're trying to overthrow him, and then move gearing and move gearing to the chancellery. So you're moving these different um, characters around. You're moving yourself around the board trying to collect different items that you can use for these different plots that you're trying to do. You're collecting cards over here, which is where you get some of the plots and other ones have actual um, different things on them. And so you can discard this card at any time, release one conspirator from prison. And so there's just different cards. All of these are going to help you out that you're going to draw right there. But then at the end of your turn, you're going to draw one of these event cards every single time. Move Heimler and then roll some of these. Move Heimler to a space with the nearest conspirator. And so sometimes uh, even those event cards can have some different decisions that you have to make that can be good, but we won't dive too far in to that. It's a really, really cool uh, concept of those events working your way down and expanding more of the map for you to be able to use because when you're in number one right here, the event cards number one, you can only move around on the board in Berlin and the cards are these spots that say one on them and then two opens and then three, four, and it continues to shift down this way to where more and more of the board opens. You can go to some of these spaces and flip over these tiles that have different things on them for part of your turn. This one has explosives and you can pick that up and use that. You can also move around the board and lower your suspicion if your suspicion is too high. Uh, by delivering some of these items to different locations on the board. So each of you selects a character here. There's nine characters, so uh, really, really intriguing to pick who you want to be. And they all have different little abilities that they give you, and some with these different, different names up here. I think there's a citizen somewhere here. Let me find that. Uh, civilian. So this guy is a civilian and he is a politician and businessman. And so there's some plots that because he's a civilian that would help him to uh, be able to, to do that. And his uh, extra ability is at the start of your turn add three cards to your dossier. Your dossier limit is increased by two. So he can hold more cards, which is really, really valuable. There's another guy here that can hold more items, uh, all sorts of really, really beneficial things for your group. So that's something that each person grabs one of those. And then with these little cubes, you track your suspicion and your motivation. And so that is really important to the game. You have to have enough motivation to be able to attempt a plot. And if you get all the way up here to reckless, then you can attempt even some more.
plots, which is, uh, or it helps you with other plots, which is really, really nice. But if you get over here, your suspicion raises all the way to extreme. I guess I can show you guys a little bit. If it raises all the way to extreme down here, and then a certain card is flipped out, then you could go to prison. So you're trying to figure out what the best way uh, and decisions to make this make this happen, uh, what's going to be the best for your team. It is, even on the easiest setting, this is not an easy game, <laughs> which I think is is great. You know, this is this is a game that you would want to be, I think, more difficult than overly easy um, because of just the historical gravity of kind of this situation, you know, Hitler and, and everything that uh, went on there. This is something that I think is really nice for this to not be uh, a super easy game. And it is historically accurate. All of these, uh, to an extent, all of these plots are things that were um, actually thought up like these are plans that were foiled uh, or attempted or something like that and i think that's really really interesting so if you enjoy uh, kind of the historical aspect of this game i think it's a beautiful game as well and so i love the aspect of uh, running around by yourself and playing two characters if you're doing a solo game or running around with your friends and trying to figure out no we need to lower hitler's military support no we need to get him out of jail no we need more items for the plot uh, just trying to figure out what to do and having the suspense kind of elevate as you play the game is really, really, really well done. So I really enjoy it. Uh, the rules can be somewhat difficult to grasp at first. There was a great video that I watched out there uh, that really helped me, I think, with some of the rules. But on your turn, there's a lot of different things kind of on the board that tell you what to do. So if you're in prison, it tells you uh, what to do. You cannot use these things. If you're arrested, you draw an interrogation card right here, which these give you different um, decisions to make. None of them are easy decisions right there, and you're not allowed to use your team. You just have to secretly decide what to do, which is a fun element of the game, and then you draw an event card. So basically, in prison, there are bad things that happen, and then you draw an event card, which is still not... Uh, incredibly great. So really intriguing game. I won't dive more in depth than it. I really, really like this game. I think it's well thought out, well put together. I love the difficulty of it that um, it's not something you're just able to jump onto and complete uh, easily. And it does take time to work your, work your plot uh, and get everything you need for your plot together. And then Hitler, you know, you may draw an event card where he moves. He was right where you needed him to be and then he moves. Uh, so I love that some of that um, is, is a good balance of being realistic, but still giving you uh, kind of a fun possibility for being able to win the game. So to win the game, there are all these dice right here that play effect in different things. And the more you get, the more possibilities you have to roll these targets. There's two targets on here. There's numbers one, two, three. And then there's this little symbol right here, which stands for the bad guys. And so depending on uh, what you have to roll, you have to look at Hitler's military support and you have to roll that many um, that many targets to be able to complete that assassination. So different items will give you more of these cubes and that kind of thing. So really, really intriguing. Enjoy this game. Hopefully that's given you guys a touch and a taste of what this is, what it does, and why it may or may not be right for you. Thanks.